You have just listened to this message from the senior pastor of Christ Living Spain Apostolic Ministry, Clown, Pastor Wale Oladiyo. To order a copy of our video and audio messages, please call 01-794-9712, 0807-658-1733 or visit Clam Bookshop at Plot 1 to 6 Clam Avenue on Mole Ikeja. You can also visit our website at www.clamgo.org or join Pastor Wale Oladinu for the live streaming of our services on www.clamgo.tv. For counseling and prayers, please call 0802 121 4355, 0803 826 6330. And 0805 Join us for our Wednesday Revival Hour from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. every Wednesday and Sunday Glorious Service from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. As you come, you'll be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen in Jesus' name. Settled. Shall we lift our two hands up to the Lord and give him seven victorious hallelujah. One to go. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Look at someone by your side and smile to that person. Tell that person, this is my mount. So for any collect by the name of Jesus. Okay, look at some people tell them. This is my month of making names. I'm receiving anointing to make it this month. I'm waiting for my, my pastors to tell someone. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to sing this song because of the wonderful things God will do for us this month. We will sing it to seven people one by one. It is good to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It is good to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It is good to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Rejoice and be glad in it. Psalm 23, verse 5 says, Thou preparest a table before us in the presence of our enemies. You anoint our head with the oil. Our cup runneth over. Surely, goodness and mercy shall, shall follow us all the days of my life. life. And I shall do in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. I declare this month. Opened in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. In accordance with the word of the Lord, that this is our month of fresh anointing. Amen. And the Bible has said in that Psalm 23, verse 5, that He prepares a table before us in the presence of our enemies. He anoints our head with oil, and our cup runs over. Running over means abundance. 
Amen. Overflow. Amen. Beyond measures. Amen. Surplus. Amen. Excess. Amen. And plenty. Amen. I decree upon you and I and everyone, wherever you may be all over the world, that this month shall indeed be our month of fresh anointing. Amen. In the name of God the Father, Amen. the Son, Amen. and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I decree that the fresh oil for us to achieve something wonderful and greater and beyond our imaginations. As we say amen together this morning, let the oil rest upon us in the name amen. of Jesus. Amen. It shall be a wonderful month for us. Amen. In Jesus' name I have prophesied. Amen. 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 Please be seated. God bless you. I welcome you to this special old Lord said to me. I welcome you to this wonderful new month in Jesus' name. It shall be your month of fresh anointing. This morning we have four major things to do by the grace of God. I came back from the mountain yesterday. And I have five messages for you. There are prophecies. But you must take note. And after that, I'm going to bring my son up, the general overseer of Kafam. Pastor Pisaki, go say you. For session of ministration. Then again, God will bring me up here. I'm going to the time of fresh anointing. I want to put oil on your head. Even those who are watching online, the oil will touch you there. Then number four, I'm going to, the Lord will pray. On your water, your oil, and man to throw me at your prayer request. Come and see what God will do. Now, this is saying, the Lord said to me, There is going to remind your helpers about you this month. Do you not slice on you to receive it or not? But I want to implore you to receive every When it was time for Mordecai to be exalted, God did not allow King Ahasuerus to sleep until he looked at the book of remembrance. But that was the season for Mordecai to be celebrated. That was the season for Mordecai to have relevance. It is a very dangerous thing for you to miss your season. It is an aberration. You must not miss it. This very month, the Lord is saying, in any nation of the world, where your helpers may be, he will remind them of you in the name of Jesus. He will remind them of you oh, in the name of Jesus. Jesus. I want you to get ready. Please get ready. Get prepared. Your preparation really matters. Whether you are young or old. Get ready. Number two. No one in your family will die young this morning. Psalm 118 verse 17. Psalm 118 verse 17. Said, I shall not die but live and declare the works of the Lord in the land of the living. They have been showing you the pictures of someone dying in your family. One of your siblings. I'm repeating it. One of your siblings. I saw this vision three days ago. And when God is showing me a vision and is using someone very, very close to me, that means it's, it's going to happen somewhere. We have to pray. Now, if there is anyone they want to take away in order to cause sorrow for your family, I pray that the Lord will hinder the work of darkness in the name of Jesus. I pray for you and I. That even we. Say amen. And our siblings, our cousins, people who are dear to us, in the name of Jesus, sudden death will not snatch us. In the name of Jesus, where you are wanting to run, I will not lose anyone in my family. Open your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus. And they will not lose me. That young man, they are praying. That young man, you are Pray, 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 pray. I will not lose anyone young in my family and they will not lose me. 
I will not lose my children. I will not lose my wife. I will not lose me. My brothers and sisters. My brother, the Lord will preserve them in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. I will not lose them, they will not lose me. Say so. I will not lose anyone in my family. In Jesus' name we pray. Be seated. Please listen very carefully. So the five messages. This is the fifth month. This is what God is saying. Number one. Second Kings chapter 3 verse 17. There is a young lady God is preparing for a very fantastic career and marriage. The oil coming upon you today will confirm it. In the name of Jesus. Second Kings chapter 3 verse 17. For God says the Lord, you will not see the wind this Amen. You will not see the rain. Amen. Yet, that yeah. valley shall be filled with water. Amen. In the that you may drink Jesus. both ye, your cattle, and your beast. Amen. The Lord said to me, just prepare the dish. The, dishes. the symptoms you should see before the miracle happens, you won't see the symptoms. All of a sudden, logic. Let's say, surprising miracles will happen in the name of Jesus. You that person who is ready for this prophecy, God says the Lord, this very month, this is a good way to lay foundation for the month. You will not see the wind, you will not see the rain, your valley shall be filled all of a sudden in the name of Jesus. Say amen and receive it. Number two, listen to this very carefully. Get prepared. For greater encounter this month. Greater capacity. Greater visitation. Greater glory expression. Greater surprises. I repeat. Get ready. This very month. For greater encounter. Greater capacity. Greater visitation. Greater glory expression. Yeah. Greater surprises. Yeah. And the Lord said I should give you this word. Psalm 16 verse 6. Psalm 16 verse 6. Psalm 16 verse 6. The lines are falling unto me in place and places. Yeah, I have goodly heritage. Wherever you may be, I want you to say it loud and clear after me. The lines are falling onto me. In places and places. I have goodly heritage. In the name of Jesus. Say the lines are falling onto me. In place and places. Yeah, yeah, why be and places. Yeah. 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 I have good heritage. Yeah. 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 That shall be your portion in the name of yeah. Jesus. Yeah. 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 Number three. Yeah. Be seated. Yeah. No room for bitterness this morning. Whether it's between you and your wife, between you and your husband, your siblings, anyone, whoever makes you angry controls you. No room for bitterness this morning. Because of what God wants to do in your life. Bitterness is a poison to good things. Bitterness prevents miracles from happening. Bitterness chases away your angels of blessings. Ephesians 4 verse 31. Ephesians 4 31. Ephesians 4 31. Let all bitterness and rot and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. Hallelujah. Listen. 
I am too convinced that God wants to just lift you beyond what you imagine. Yeah. Listen, 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 listen. But God is saying, remove that bitterness. God wants to move. Remove that bitterness. Remove that rot. Remove that anger. Remove that clamor. Remove that evil speaking. Remove that malice. Far away from you. I pray for that person. Every root of bitterness in you. Let it dry up. In the name of Jesus. If you have been bitter against God. God is saying don't be bitter against me. Don't be bitter against any human being. You may be bitter against a pastor. Or a prophet. Don't worry. Pastors are not your God. Don't be bitter against your parents. Don't be bitter against your husband and wife and children or friends. God is the one who wants to move. I pray. That root of bitterness. Let it dry up in the name of Jesus. A joko before a leg carry this one. A lady must say by when I had it. But if I bow, thank you, Jesus. I say, I say, I say, Jesus, write the statement down. A cosilo, those attacking you will witness your testimony this month. I want to go good. You are your real real or look at Jesus. Lost we those who have been saying what we have when they have been saying, let us see. I want to talk about come on, who won't really say this very much. Nin was to carry this very much. Nin was to carry. They will see your testimony. In the name of Jesus. Nin or who called Jesu. He gave me Mark 10. Oh, for about any way, Mark or Rika was, you know, when there is a vision, there must be a word. Oh, or Robert or T. Ralani to confirm it. Eh, a word. Or a word. At the Asher. Mark 10. We mark or Rika was 46 to 52. Yes, second. The ladder, two verses there. Yes, sir. Major verses 48 and 49. He gave it in the last time. The ladder, bad Blatimos. He heard that Jesus was passing. Oh, Jesus, 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 son of David. I'm a David. I'm a son of me. Son of me. Look at verse 38. 48. Yes, sir. Kid, you know, daughter. 48. Yes, sir. Kid, you know, daughter. And many charge him that he should hold his peace. When he got one. He, but he cried the more he gave me. That's what I'm doing. Have a son. Oh, David, this is not for me. That's your case in verse 14. Hey, but the same set of people. Yeah, I want to go. Who said keep quiet? Do you want to go? Are you not tired? We are your evidences. We are your testimony. Look at what they will say in verse 14. The same set of people. I want to go. And Jesus stood still. He commanded him to be called. And there. Who spoke in verse 48? I want to go to the Call the blind man. Say unto him, Oh, be of good comfort. Rise, it's that you. So, um, and they celebrated his testimony. You but in verse 48, they said, Keep quiet. Those who are saying, I want to suffer you. Look at your life. Look at your life. Look at your life. What can come out of your Nazareth? Just like in 48. In verses 49 and 50. And verses 50 of your life. They shall celebrate your testimony. They shall celebrate your testimony. In the name of Jesus. Is that not fantastic? people. Hmm. So keep doing what you are doing. Don't stop. They are coming. They are coming to and celebrate. And the 51. Exodus 34 verse 10. 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 I have claimed this one three times before. I uh, came up. When the Lord was renewing his covenant with the people of Israel, through Moses, look at this statement. And he said, oh, we, Behold, what? I God make a covenant before all your people. Before all your people. Clam. Before all Every member of my family. This is what I God will do for you. Tell me only why yourself who are to join you. Mark it. I will do marvels. Eh, me you show me re me re. Mark it. Mark it. Marvels. 
such as have not been done in Nordia. Such as have not been done in any nation. And all the people among which thou art shall see the work of the Lord. For it is a terrible thing which I will do today. I dug into my Bibles. I saw in New Living Translation. I will perform miracles that have never been performed anywhere. In all the other nations. New International Version says, I will do wonders never before done in any nation of the world. International Standard Version says, I will do miraculous deeds that have not been created in the art or in any nation. Who is that person that we pray to this? You believe? Now, this is what God is saying concerning you and your family. That Lord will do marvelous things that have never been done before. For you and I. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In your home, Amen. in your work, Amen. in your head. Amen. If you believe, you need to believe. In the life of that child, in your very family, marvels that have never been done in the business world, in the career world, in the economic world, in any family, in any nation, in any ministry, in any town, in any village, that Lord will do it in your life. In the name of Jesus. This Five prophecies. Let them begin to take over our lives in the name of Jesus. Yes. The name of the Lord shall be glorified. Yes. Jesus, yes. Yes. Clap for Jesus. Join me this morning as I bring to the pulpit my son, the senior pastor of Calvary Freedom Apostolic Ministry. He's a senior pastor of a dynamic prayer ministry. Join me in welcoming Pastor Peace at Kikusoye. Put your hands together for the Lord. Celebrate him. Please. Celebrate him. Celebrate him. Celebrate him. Praise the Lord. Please let us stand up. Let us appreciate God together. And we are going to sing this song. I don't want to know the purpose of your coming here this morning. I don't want to know the battle that has followed you at this morning. As you are worshiping God this morning, the Lord will visit you. The Lord will visit your situation. The Lord will visit us. He Please sing the song from your heart. To deliver. To deliver. And to save. Shake a shake a river, Baba. God is
this morning. God is going to do a special miracle here this morning. The Lord wants to deliver those who are fed up with life. The Lord wants to, 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 to deliver those people who don't know the kind of prayer to pray. Again. The Lord wants to deliver you from stubborn problems. The Lord wants to deliver you from the concrete work of darkness. This is the month of May, which is a month of fresh anointing. And the Bible says, by the anointing, the yoke shall be destroyed. And this morning, by the anointing of God, in the house, through my Father and the Lord, the connection of the anointing, every yoke in your life shall be destroyed. Yeah. Please, we need to take this one more prayer before you sit down. This is the month of May, which is an acronym for miracle around you. Miracle are waiting you. Miracle and anointing for you. Miracle and an advancement for you. Any power that says you will not advance. Any power that says your miracle will not manifest. By the authority in the name of Jesus. By the power that is working on this water. I command let the power down. Somebody is just opening his eyes and closing. It. I want you to say amen. See, because as you are saying that, that amen, something is taking place in the realm of the spirit. Oh, hey. I say in this month of May, any power that want to stop you, that want to stop your manifestation, that want to stop your anointing, that want to stop your hair, that want to stop your miracle, in the name of you, let them die. Let them die. die. Every concluded work of darkness. When some people's lives have been destroyed, they said they've concluded this case. Every padlocked destiny. Every concluded work in the darkness. Every concluded dark work against you. So I go see on a buy your phone. They said there is no way for you again. You will pray this prayer. The Father, every concluded work of darkness. Glory to you, me. In my life. Glory to you, me. In my family. Glory to you, me. For my children. Glory to you, me. I say, me. In my ministry. Ne kata na, ne kata me. We fiscal your spirit. Glory to you, me. We are the word of the living God. Oh yeah, Jonah. Oh yeah, Pare. Every concluded work of darkness. Every concluded work of darkness. Pray, 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 pray. Over my, yes. over my ministry. Yes. Over my marriage. Yes. Over my children. Yes. Over my progress. Yes. Over my advancement. Yes. You are a liar. Yes. You die of the work of darkness. Yeah. In the name come of Jesus. Come on. Yeah. Come on. 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 The Lord says he wants to do something through that prayer. This morning, you will never go home the same. This program through our Father in the Lord. If I did, I beg a lay is called Oh Lord said to me. Oh, I bet on me for me. And I want to tell you, there what? is no way you will go out to the Lord oh, said. To me. Jacob says, I will not let you go until you, you bless me. And that is why this morning I prophesied your life. Oh, so you will not go home to say. The Lord God of all Lord said to me, oh, He said to you this morning, Please, you will say louder than your neighbor. You know why? The person beside you may not need the prayer. 
And when you are praying, you are hearing what the person beside you is saying. That means you are not praying. So you must make sure your voice is louder. And the more you shout, the more you cry, like blind Bartholomew, that is how God will listen to you. And that is how God will be attentive to you. So please, I want you to shout. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, the Lord bless you. Do you know there is commotion in the realm of the spirit? Uh, he the, head, head, the heaven is dealing with them now. So you will shout louder more than that. Say in the name of Jesus. In in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Every concluded work of darkness concerning my life, concerning my work, concerning my marriage, in the dream, in the physical, in the witchcraft combo, in the occultic combo, on any evil water, hear the word of God. In the name of Jesus, as I am clapping my hands, scatter by fire, scatter by fire, scatter by fire. Oh yes, oh yes, shout it, shout it, oh yes, say, 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 oh yes, say, shatter, 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 oh yes, oh yes. As you raise this your right hand to you, anything they have concluded concerning your life. Those evil conclusions. Those who say you will not marry. Those who say you will not have children. Those who say you will not rise again. Those who say that is how you will die. They are not your maker. The Bible says, who is it they are seated and coming to bed? When the Lord has not said, that is why that is why I command everything they have concluded concerning your situation by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let it be canceled. Conclusion of untimely deaths. Anything they are balog, anything they are buried, any boo and bago over your situation by fire, by thunder. In the name of Jesus, scatter, 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 Amen. And as we are praying that prayer, I hear the voice of God. Say to your situation. I'm hearing the voice of God. And this is the word for you. From the book of Exodus. It says, I will fight for you. The Lord says he will fight for you. Oh, hey. Hey. The Lord will fight for you. Oh, oh. He is the God that avenges. I pray in this month of May. The Lord will fight for you. Oh, hey. The Lord will fight your battle. Oh, oh. Hey. I say God will fight for you. And 
you will see the miracle of God. Hey. Hey. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord, hey. Lord Jesus, hey. 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 Man, in Jesus' name, let's have a seat. I want to use this opportunity to appreciate my father in the Lord. The Lord God Almighty will continue to increase you on every side, sir. I bless the name of God and I thank God who has connected me to you, sir. Since the Lord connected me to clam and my father in the Lord, my life has experienced complete turnaround. Daddy, you are a good father. Even though when we make mistakes, when we flop, when we, are, when we say things, when things and you will still take us and you always encourage us, Daddy, the Lord will keep you for us. The Lord will be with you, sir. The Lord will be with mommy. The Lord will be with your children. Clan will never die. Clan will never go down. Clan will begin to move from glory to glory. In the name of Jesus. I appreciate all my guys, all the servants of God, all the directors, every minister of God in the house. The Lord will bless you. The Lord will bless you, sir. And every one of you saying, hey man, I say you will never be put to shame. I say you will never be put to shame. In the name of Jesus. On this mountain of clam, you will have testimony. Uh -huh. You are not saying it. I say you will have testimony. You will have testimony. In the name of Jesus. I want to quickly share this testimony. I remember the first day that my father asked me to go and uh, preach somewhere on his behalf. That's the first time. And that day is like the house should open up and I should enter. Because I don't know what to say. They are expecting our father in the Lord. And when we got here, the man of God said, Daddy cannot come. He said, Yes. Then, who did he say? You know, we were in convoy. And uh, they pointed to me. And you know, I'm a little bit fat now. Some years ago, I'm not like this. So that time also. And I, I happen to be the smallest in stature. And the man look. He first of all looked up and down. <laughs> said, hmm. They said, okay, okay, let's come to the altar. So I said, God, have mercy. Lord, have your way to do. And the man, when it, it was time for him to introduce, because people were waiting to see our father in the Lord. And they were now looking at somebody. Ah. The man of God said, yes, yes, I get it. If Pastor Wally or Ladinu, can send this somebody from this person from clan. Say he can't make a mistake. He said, ah, ah, if pastor can send this person, he said, you the congregation don't make mistake. Don't overlook this man of God. Though. If this is the person that pastor can send from entire clan to represent him, say something will happen to them. He said, mm, when I look at people that is very small like this, they are almost very dangerous. I don't use to commonize them. So when he said it, and he gave me a microphone, do you know, the first 30 minutes, I did not open my eyes. I was, because already I don't know where to start. I was just telling, as my father had taught me, my father said, be bold, go, God will be with you. So I started. Before I opened my eyes, everywhere I don't scatter. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And after the whole ministration, the man of God said, my wife, come home. I've told you before, this will be so dangerous. And he knelt down and said, no, you have poor anointing of me. Poor anointing. Today is my bad day. It's my bad that I'm expecting. But you are here. Oh, you have begin to anoint me. And in fact, daddy, the Lord will be with you, sir. Amen. As the Lord has used my daddy to showcase me, to, to encourage me. And I want to tell you, I am like my father. Any So, praise the Lord. This morning, the message that the Lord is bringing before us is victory over stubborn enemies. Victories over stubborn enemies. Victory over stubborn situation. Victory over stubborn battles. Let me explain this topic to you. There are some 
enemies. They were so stubborn. They don't give up. There's nothing you can do that will intimidate them. Even though when you know how to pray, they will say, pray the any kind of prayer you want to pray. We will we still know how to get you. But the Lord is saying this morning, because I had God specifically, that I should minister on this topic, that he wants to grant you victory over stubborn enemies. I won't go and learn him again. Battle that pursue with that. I want to learn it to anyone. Nick Bada. Those that pursue with that. Any battle that has been pursuing you. Go, 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 and they say, no matter what you do, that they, so. that, that they will not relent. That they will not retreat. That they will not give up. This morning, heaven will cross them. I say, the power of Holy Ghost will cross them. So that is what God is saying we should oh, consider. Oh, I want you to be happy now. I want your faith to be stronger. Because many of you here, you are going through things. You are going through battles. In fact, the Holy Spirit made me know that many people, they are fed up. They are fed up. They are even thinking, why? They are asking, why? They are saying, what must I do? But I want to tell you, because the Lord is a faithful God, because our God is the to yesterday, you today, and forevermore. He has sent me to announce to you oh, no, that no stubborn enemies, that no stubborn battle, that no stubborn situation this morning, in this whole Lord said to me, the Lord will settle them. The Lord will settle them. The Lord will settle them. I want us to open our Bible to the book of Exodus. Exodus chapter 7. We are going to read from verse 1. Then we read to verse 6. I will read some places there. Exodus. Chapter 6. Let's start from verse 1. And the Lord said unto Moses, See, I have made thee a God to Pharaoh, and Aaron thy brother shall be thy prophet. Verse 2. Thou shalt speak all that I command thee. And Aaron thy brother shall speak unto Pharaoh that he sent the children of Israel out of his land. Verse 3. And I will add in Pharaoh's act and multiply my signs and my wonders in the land of Egypt. The next verse, 6, chapter 6. Okay? Then let's go to, okay, sorry, chapter 7. Let's go to verse 4, 7, 4. But Pharaoh shall not hearken unto you. Pharaoh, need down. Please. 7-4, yes. But Pharaoh shall not hearken unto you that I may lay my hand upon Egypt. The Lord will lay his hand upon your enemy. And bring forth my armies and my people. The Lord will bring you forth. Because you are the people of God, the Lord will bring you forth. And the children of, the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt by great judgment. The great judgment of God will fall upon your enemy. Then let's go to verse 6. And Moses and Aaron did as the Lord commanded them. So did they, they did. As you obey the voice of God to pray this morning, oh, the Lord will act into your voice in the name of Jesus. The Lord will act into your voice in the name of Jesus. The Lord will act into your voice in the name of Jesus. I want us to quickly go to that Exodus chapter 12. I want us to understand something there. Pharaoh was an example of a stubborn enemy. A stubborn pursuer. That even though after God has confronted him with many signs and wonders, still boasting, who is that your God that will deliver you from my heart? I pray for you this morning. Any power that is boasting, that is asking, that who is that your God that will deliver you out of your situation, that Lord will arise and will confront that battles in the name of you. Because of our time, I want us to open to that Exodus 12 12. 
And I will read 12 to 14. For I will pass through the land of Egypt this night. Tonight, the Lord will pass through the land of Egypt. Every battle of the night that you are going through. Tonight, 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 in the name of Jesus, the Lord will pass through the camp of your enemy. And the Bible says, and I will smite all the firstborn in the land of Egypt. Both man and beast and against all the gods of Egypt. And I will execute judgment. I am the Lord. Everybody say judgment. Say judgment. The judgment of God will come over your enemy. I say the judgment of God will come over your enemy. In verse 13. And the blood shall be to you for a token upon the houses where ye are. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you, and the place shall not be upon you to destroy you. When I smite the land of Egypt, and this day shall be unto you, today shall be a memorial day unto you. And ye shall keep a feast to the Lord throughout your generation. Ye shall keep a feast by an ordinance forever. What happened in this place? Just keep some places. If you read uh, Exodus chapter 7, 8, 9, and 10, and 11, chapter 7 to 11, you will see how God demonstrated his power. The first thing that God did, when he told Pharaoh, release my people, God commanded Moses, spread what your rod. No, pare. to the sea, si o mi. to river Nanai, si o do na and he turned to blood. O de de. And Pharaoh said, Pharaoh even ni. though if, if your God do more than that, you are not going anywhere. To ni si le ho. And he commanded his people, o si pa se we go ye. and do the same. Eh, se the se leftover ye. rivers that they're supposed to be drinking. O ye because when God commanded Moses, he only Moses. turned the river Nile, the major river, into blood. So all the remaining small, small rivers and where Pharaoh commanded, you my astrologers, you my magician, go and do the same. And they did the same thing. They added to their sorrow. Your enemy will do themselves. They will multiply their sorrow. After all this, Pharaoh said, no, you are not going anywhere. Second one, you know the story, the third one, at a stage, whatever Moses did, the, 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 the magicians of Egypt, they were unable to do it again. Pharaoh said, even though if my people cannot do it again, no matter what happens, you are not going anywhere. What kind of art? And that is why some of you, the kind of battle you are going through is just like that. The strong man in your life, they are just like that. Not when you share what testimony wants to say, you are not going anywhere. Every stubborn enemy, I want to pursue you to the grave. I say the Lord will take care of them. And when he got to Exodus chapter 12, the Lord told Moses, I know how to deal with stubborn enemy. He said, I know how to deal with them. And the way God dealt with that Pharaoh, today that is how God will deal with your stubborn enemy. Yeah. And God told Moses, the next thing I want to do now, I want to visit them with death. I want to visit the, the, the land of Egypt with death. And he said, you my people, put a blood on your lintel. When I see the blood, I will pass over you. The blood of Jesus will give you victory over your enemy. The blood of Jesus will settle your situation. The blood of Jesus will speak for you. We speak for your family. We speak for your ministry. We speak for your situation. In the name of Jesus. Let us say, Leave Pharaoh alone. I will visit him. I will visit the land of Egypt. And on that dreadful night, 
All the firstborn. Thank God that Pharaoh is not the firstborn of his father. He would have died that day. But I don't know. Because he's a stubborn man. Maybe he killed his brother. Who happens to be the firstborn? So that he could be the next Pharaoh. We don't know. He is not the firstborn. Otherwise, he would have died that night. But he is firstborn. Firstborn of Catus. Firstborn of everything. Even though first one of his slaves, everywhere in the land oh, of boy, Egypt, God visited them with death. death. With what? And when it was around 5 a.m. in the morning, everybody was crying. Even though those who want to come and report to Pharaoh, Pharaoh, Pharaoh showed them, look at my first Pharaoh, one. Now, his first now, one died. Pharaoh, the Pharaoh, serious death. They, they sleep, they did not wake up. And everywhere in the land of Egypt, that you the people of God in the land of Goshen they were rejoicing because the blood is speaking for them. As the Lord will visit your strong enemy, the blood of Jesus will speak for you. The blood was speaking, Jesus was speaking, and the people, the enemy. The stubborn enemy, they were crying. Tonight, the Lord will visit the camp of your strong enemy Amen. with death in the name of you. Sit down. There are some stubborn enemies. If they don't see death, they don't surrender. So that's money. No, we're Pharaoh quickly called for Mos uh, Moses. Pharaoh, come, ah, come, 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 come. Wow. This one no be joke. Hey, Go, 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 go. But when the children of Israel they were hesitating, ah, they removed their ATM card. They started withdrawing money. They started giving them everything. Oh, yeah, I said, oh, my Lord, what do you want? Everything they needed. They started giving them the labor they have been laboring, and they did not pay them. You will not be free empty handed. The children of Israel did not leave the land of Egypt empty handed. Because what happened? God visited them with death. And they released them. And when the children of Israel were moving, in Exodus chapter 14, when they were moving, let us read again. Exodus chapter 14. We want to pray this morning. We want to decree judgment of God over the stubborn enemies. Let's start the reading from verse 1. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel that they turn and they come before Piharimot between Migdor and the sea over against the, 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 the before it and ye shall come by the sea. Let's go to verse 5. And it was told the king of Egypt that the people fled. And the part of Pharaoh and his servant was turned against his people. And they said, Why have we done this? That we have let Israel go from serving us. After God has visited them again. Because Pharaoh was still alive. He told the Pharaoh, what lie you? He said, why do I like Who this? Who will be doing all this what they are, they are doing? Uh, why did we allow them to go? And Pharaoh again had it his heart. Because he was a stubborn enemy. Every stubborn enemy that is pursuing you, that no matter how you pray, they will still show for their ugly head in your dream. This morning, they shall die. I said they will die. 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 In the name of Jesus. Sit down. And he made ready his chariot and took his people with him. And he took 600 chosen chariots. Imagine. 600 armor tank to pursue somebody without a gun. To pursue the people of God without any weapon. 600 what? Armor tank. Machine gun. Ha. Every stubborn enemy that they are gathering power, that they are gathering power, that they are reinforcing against you today, they shall die. And they say they will not go. In verse 8, and the Lord in the heart of Pharaoh. 
kingdom of Egypt and he pursued after the children of Israel. And the children of Israel went out with an high hand. With the high hand of God, you will be preached this morning. Amen. Verse 13 of that Exodus chapter 14. Second, Allah. And Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not. Stand see and see the salvation of the Lord. Which he will show you today. For the Egyptians. For the stubborn enemy. Which he will show you today. Which he will show you today. For the Egyptian whom you have seen today. Oh, that really that's the strong man in your life. Oh, see, no, that you Pharaoh know. in your life. Pharaoh, you you shall see them again no more forever. Amen. You will see them again no more forever. Amen. You will see them again no more forever. Amen. In the name of Jesus. And in verse 14. And he said the Lord shall fight for you. And ye shall hold your peace. Amen. What happened? See that. Because of our time. So Pharaoh pursued after them. And on getting to the Red Sea, God parted the Red Sea for the children of Israel. And they passed through the dry ground. Pharaoh said, yeah, if I told long, if God should even part fire, I will enter fire with you. He said, is it, is it, is it uh, this river that God parted? Even though, if there is fire, you the children of Israel. If it is bad, you will buy you a Wherever you enter, enter. Who, I will follow you, you there. The and it's all these people. Why I pursue them? Oh, like ah, way. stop on enemy. After seeing the miracle of God, after seeing the, the, the rest pattern, after he did not go back, he refused to turn back. He said, he said, he said even though after this rest, then you go if there is fire. And if they should enter fire, they pursue them. And all of them, they pursue them. And the children of Israel escaped. But that day, they perished. Any power that follow you to this place, that follow you to this, oh Lord, said to me this one. Any Pharaoh that follow you to clap, as they say they pursue you here, I pray this morning they shall die. Some people, the name that we can call them in Yoruba is Ogun Lende. There are many people that is battle that pursue them down here. That, yes, Ogun Pharaoh. The battle that pursue Pharaoh. you here. Pharaoh and he said, you go to where that is more than clan. I will follow you. But hear the judgment of God over there. This morning, they shall die. 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 We want to pray now. This morning is morning of no nonsense. Oh, Joe, what are you doing? That is why the first prayer you want to pray. And before we pray that prayer, I want you to know. That stop, please sit down. Let me say it in two minutes. Stubborn enemy can operate in many forms. They can pursue people to death. They can pursue people to sin. Maybe you are here. There is a stubborn sin in your life. You are so there is something you don't want to do. You are doing. Sometimes it's the work of stubborn enemy. Some of you you are smoking. You don't want to smoke. That smoking habit has become a failure in your life. Some people it is fornication and adultery. You you know that it is not good, but you are just there all the time. That habit, that sin, that drinking. Systematically, you are taking hot drink. Many, many things you are still doing it. But you don't want to do it. Those habits can also be a pharaoh in your life. They can make you, the, some enemy, they are pursuing you in your marital life. They don't allow own. people to marry in time. Oh, they Even they though when people, up people up. pray, 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 they still come and appear in the dream to destroy oh, the testimony. You that you are here, you want to want your be? situation is like this. Already the more you pray, the more you attack. Oh, if I have seen some see. people, they say, I don't want to do deliverance. Oh, if you I have seen after deliverance, one, two, day, eh, oh, that kind of enemy, they are Pharaoh-like enemy. For this morning, everyone will settle them. 
In the name of Jesus. 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 Maybe they are here. Some people physically they have become a stubborn enemy to you. I want to see Doctor Lori go come forward. They have told you that you will see. They have decreed. They have drawn a battle line. Physically and spiritually they are saying we will see how you will get out. This morning that is the battle God wants to settle in your life. Long time battles. And some enemy they are punishing your children. And they know that that is the place where they can handle you. Enemy that is handling you in a strong place that is making you to cry. This one is the Lord will fight for you. This is what God will do. Number one, God will withdraw the weapon of your enemy. Oh, oh, you oh, 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 Everything oh, 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 God will withdraw Two, it. God will judge them. Oh, 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 Three, God will disgrace them. Oh, 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 Four, God will put them into shame. Oh, 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 and then you. God will kill those who must die. Oh, 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 Let us stand up to pray. You are going to shout to God. Oh, God, you are going to you strong man in my life. You stubborn enemies in my life. Hear yeah, your judgment. Please let us stand up. This kind of prayer is not a Jelenke prayer. Because when the children, when the, when Pharaoh was pursuing the the, the, the children of Israel, but if you only my Israel, they say they were saying, Ah, Moses, oh. This one is so terrible. Look at it. So look at it. Swallowing up. So the Bible says they cried unto God. When battle reach battle, you will forget English. You will pray in your native language. When a Igbo man see a terrible battle, he will say she ne keo. I pray this morning. Every stubborn battle in your life, they will give way in the name of you. Are you ready to pray now? So you are going to shout. Say, every strong man in my life. Every strong man in my life. Every strong person of my destiny. Every strong person of my destiny. He had the judgment of God. He had the judgment of God. In the name of Jesus. Da, da, da. You are here. Oh, Anibi. You are under the bondage of spirit spouse. Oh, Spirit wife or spirit husband. 
The more you pray, the more they attack you. In fact, you have been fighting this battle for many years. All you are here in the dream, they are pursuing you. Anytime you pray, they pursue you. Come out, the Lord wants to deliver you. All you are here, there is one enemy that has vowed in the dream and in the physical that you will not be free. What a casio. They are saying, they, are saying they will see how you will be free. This stubborn pursuers, this Pharaoh like enemy, the Lord will destroy them in the name of You are here, you, all this while you have been praying. No testimony. No testimony. Pharaoh, stubborn enemy. They don't allow testimony to manifest. In fact, when you receive a testimony that something has been happening, you know, if this thing should click, I will go and give testimony. Before the day of the manifestation, they will kill the testimony. So you are here. Enemies have been killing your testimony. And you are saying, wow. 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 Even though upon prophetic declaration, they will still so come and meet you in the dream. That is a lie. This morning, the Lord will deliver you. Hey. So those of you who are outside, or if you are also here, you have been hated and rejected for a long time. Also, you are here. The more you pray, the more you attack. The more you do fasting and prayer, the more you go for deliverance, the more they bombard you more. And you are saying, ah, ah, ah. When I was not praying, this battle is not this You know the children of Israel, they were telling Moses, even though you should have left up alone in Egypt, you know? when God has not even said that you should go, it's not as difficult as it. Since this is your God that said, let me people go. I can go to what is it And they are saying, Moses, can you see now? Is it possible now? We see thousand machine gun and a, and a motor. And they were crying. Maybe that is your situation. Oh, yeah, tia, tia, you are even abusing the person that preached to you. Oh, tia, you are even saying, saying why did you even invite me to come and pray? Oh, tia, nikki, even nikki, though when I'm not praying, I know how I used to like make this. my money. Oh, I know how my business used to blow up. Oh, it is a strong enemy. Oh, they are pharaoh like enemies. Oh, oh, they are stubborn oh, enemies. Oh, oh, so if your case is like this, that the more you pray, the more they attack. Try them. The God of heaven will say to you this one. So we want to sing that song. And as we are singing the song, even we'll be settling your case. Solve a problem in my life. Solve a problem in my life. Receive fire. Get my fire. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh yes. Solve a problem in my life. Solve a problem. Join them because the Lord wants to say to you this morning, and this is the prayer you will pray. Please close your eyes and pray this prayer more than anybody. Say, You the strong man of darkness, you the Pharaoh, you the stubborn enemy, you the spirit husband, you the spirit one. You the witchcraft spirit. You the witchcraft spirit. Hear the word 
word of God. I am no longer your candidate. In the name of Jesus. As I am clapping my hands. Release me. Die. Release me. Die. Release me. Die. Every strong man that is holding you captive. Every strong man that is sponsoring battle into your life. Any power attacking your prayers. Any spirit power that is holding you captive. Any witchcraft power. Every sovereign pursuer. Let them release one and die. Amen. You are praying. The Lord is saying he's removing the arrow of cancer from your body. You that person with cancer in your body now. That arrow of cancer in your breast, in any part of your body. Jump up! Aha! Aha! Yes! 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 Aha! Healing power! Healing power! Every disease, every evil deposit, every joke, anything the strong man of darkness has sponsored into your body. I come out. Come on! Amen. Seven people here. 
The strong man of darkness, they have tied your womb. Strong men here, they have attacked your fertility. But I see one hand from heaven releasing you. Amen. Any womb that they have tied here, and they say no way for you to have children. Any fertility that has been attacked, I come out, break loose! Break loose! Break loose! Break loose! You that you are here, you are under the bondage of smoking, drinking, and sexual immorality. It's a strong man and Pharaoh that put you under that bondage. I pray this morning, let that your prayer! In the name of Jesus. You are also here. Everything about your life has been granted. Your marriage, granted. Your business, the enemy has made it to be granted. Today, I decree whatever the enemy has made to be granted in your life, let the rest of the people go. Raise them up. Turn around for you. Amen. You will not die. Go boy, you want to cook bear. In fact, overnight for the past seven days. You have been having the dream of death. And some people here, I see the angel of God removing the mark of death over you. Yeah. Hey, every yoke of death, every covenant of death, every dream of death over your life is cancelled. Yeah. You will not die. 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 Yeah. Will not die. Yeah. Today, you are released. Yeah. You are liberated. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. Every yoke of sin, yoke of immorality, every bondage that the enemy has put you into, let it break. Lastly, I pray for you. Strong man that is sponsoring bad dreams into your life. That any time that miracle is coming, she will just dream one funny dream. And that is the dream that they used to have bought your testimony and your deliverance. Any power sponsoring negative dreams into your life. Let the power die. Die. Today, just as God said, the Israelite free, you are free. In the name of God the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. You can go back to your seat. Let's put our hands together for the Lord. For the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. To deliver and to say, I'm going to say, Somebody shout a big hallelujah. Okay, hallelujah. Lao. If you know that that stubborn enemy has been disgraced, so, bama, shout it louder. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay, hallelujah. hallelujah. May the Lord bless the ministry of Pastor Peace. I can go say. So God be the glory. So go Please be seated. That was powerful. You know, when you have children who are succeeding, you have children who are succeeding. So, bala, to That's prosperity. I'm happy. No, me don't get it gone. To the glory of God. The Lord ordained 81 pastors here last week. Oluwa fi ororo iyan iran si Olorun mo kan le ni ogorin lose to lo. And we are starting what we call Clam Ministers Council, CMC. We are ministers of God. We'll be doing strategic assignment all over the world. So we are taking our first major assignment this morning. Because as we are out for the anointing service, you just stretch your hands forward because part of the grace upon me is upon them. Once your hands are anointed, then you begin to move in a new realm. Now, listen to this. We are going into a time of fresh anointing. And the Bible says in 1 John 2 verse 27, but the anointing that you have received from him abides in you. The anointing you will receive this morning, 1 John chapter 2 verse 27, that anointing will abide in you. Amen. 
I'm waiting for the person who will say the loudest amen. That anointing will abide in you. Amen. You see, it's our amount of fresh oil. The word of the Lord is confirming the, the anointing you are receiving this morning is going to abide with you to do exploits in the name of Jesus. Amen. amen. I read further. But the anointing that you receive this morning, receive from him, abides in you, and you have no need anyone to teach you. But as his anointing teaches you about everything, the anointing that you will receive, you, it, will, it will teach you and explain things you don't know to you this very much in the name of Jesus. Amen. amen. I don't like that, amen. It will teach you what you don't know in the name of Jesus. Amen. amen. It will explain things for you and show you the way. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. It will teach you about everything and it's true. And there is no lie, just as it has taught you, abided in him. Well, now, the anointing you are receiving is going to do wonders. And these are the wonders that the anointing will do. I'm going to make proclamation about, about um, 40 proclamations upon you by the time you are anointed. But see, see what the anointing will do. Isaiah 10, 27, it shall come to pass today that the body you have been carrying over the years, over the months, over the weeks, shall depart from your shoulder. Amen. Shall be taken away. Amen. Only for those who are saying amen, the anointing will make the bodies to be removed. Amen. amen. And the yokes from your neck shall be destroyed by the anointing. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. amen. Now sit down. Listen, this oil that we are receiving this morning, if you are listening on radio, the word of God carries the anointing. If you are, have oil where you are, as I'm praying, just lift it up. Because it's going to make, we are using it as an emblem of the Holy Spirit. You have water there, lift it up. Whether you are watching online, you are listening on radio. And if you are in a place where you are critically, you can't participate, but you are just listening and watching. Know that the oil is flowing to you. Now, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the anointing we are receiving this morning, we break the, every yoke. Amen. Amen. We set you free from bondages. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. I don't want to just be seated and be calm. The anointing will make you to walk out of captivity. Amen. Amen. In the, In the name, name of Jesus. Of Jesus. Amen. Amen. The anointing will break every satanic covenant. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The anointing we are receiving will destroy any altar raised against us. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The anointing we are receiving this morning. We break any curse in our life in the name of Jesus. We break any spell, any enchantment in the name of Jesus. In the, the anointing will remove every embargo in the name of Jesus. Any form of manipulation shall be removed in the name of Jesus. This anointing will break every plan of sudden death in the name of Jesus. Any pronouncement of sudden death shall be cancelled in the name of Jesus. Any demon in our in our environment, this anointing will send it packing. In the name of Jesus. All hindrances, spiritual blindness, and deafness. By this anointing, they shall be removed in the name of Jesus. This anointing we are moving today will cut up the, the hands of darkness. The hands of the wicked. In the name of Jesus. This anointing will make the hands of the Lord to establish us. In the name of Jesus. This anointing will make the arm of God to support us. In the name of Jesus. This anointing will not make the hands of the enemy to exert upon us. In the name of Jesus. This anointing will chase away afflictions from us and our family. In the name of Jesus. This anointing will bring us mercy, favor, lifting, turn around. In the name of Jesus. So shall it be. Jesus, name we pray. All the ministers, please be outside here. Stretch your hands. Your whole body is soaked in the whole pool of the blood of Jesus. As you go about this assignment, let the power of God flow through you. In the name of Jesus. No contamination. In the name of Jesus. These ones had been delegated. So, Stretch your hands and receive from them. What is that minister doing up there? My Imbo interpreter. Where? Are you not the one I'm looking there? Why are you not walking here? Quickly, 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 quickly. 
Everybody stretch your hands forward. Begin to pray before the oil touches your hand. Begin to say, I receive fresh anointing for enlargement. What do you want for God to do for you this month? Begin to ask. Just stretch your hands, your hands. Just anoint their hands. Those of you watching online, because there's no barrier in the realm of the spirit, as I stretch my hands towards this television, now let the oil be upon you in the name of Jesus. Those of you watching online, those of you listening on radio, let the anointing of God flow through you now in the name of Jesus where you are. Let, that, let the power change you. Let the power change you. In the name of Jesus, receive that anointing now. Now, 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 where you are. In the name of Jesus. Be praying where you Begin to talk to God. My bow, Lord, on sorrow. Anointing to serve the Lord is upon you. Anointing to bring correction into your life. As I'm mentioning it, you turn it to prayers. Anointing to correct what is not right in your life. Anointing that breaks evil flow. Whatever I say now, you turn into prayer. Anointing that frustrates the token of the liars. Anointing that will make you to overtake the enemies in their folly. Anointing that lifts standard against afflictions. You get to receive it. Anointing that breaks the oath of death. Anointing that overpowers stubborn enemies. Anointing for excellence. Anointing that will preserve your life, your home, and your work. As I'm saying it, you turn it to prayers. Anointing for promotion and progress. Anointing for new things. Anointing for open heaven. Anointing to see the visions of God. Anointing to start and finish well. If I were to be you this next one, I will say it louder than anybody. Anointing to do something new this month. Me and my family members. If you are the Ororo, you are the show to the new show. That woman there, you are not saying anything. Open your mouth and pray. Lying with a God, Badura. Anointing for healing. Signs and wonders. Anointing for guidance and direction. Anointing for abundance. Anointing for fruitfulness and multiplication. Anointing for you to excel. Anointing for God to uplift your head. Body me so cake, me in the day. Family law was okay. King and you are yellow. Oh, go and hear me, Jacko, your jaden. Family no was okay, mama, Jacko. Lift up my head. Turn me around. Put me up by my hands. High under the world. My special glory. Let it manifest. Put me up by my hands. Without any delay. Lift up my head. Turn me around, put me more by my hands. High under the wall, my special glory, let it manifest. Put me not by my hands, without any delay. Anointing for your head to be lifted up. Open your mouth and begin to pray. 
anointing for divine encounter, anointing for visitation, anointing for laughter, anointing for distinction, anointing for our children to do well, anointing for our youth to do well, anointing to arise and shine, anointing for fulfillment, anointing to enjoy favor, anointing for financial breakthrough, anointing for divine correction. Anointed to enjoy the fruit of your labor. Anointed that breaks the yoke of stagnation. Anointed for greater achievement. Anointed for surprises and laughter. Anointed for a turnaround. Anointed to sing a new song. Anointed to dance a new dance. Anointed to testify for the remaining part of the year. Anointed to praise the Lord always. Rise up on your feet now. Lift up your oil and your water and your mantle and your prayer and request. We are going to do something very prophetic now. All the youths here, what I'm teaching you here, in the next 5, 3, 5, 10, 15, 20 years, you will always bless God for, the, for, the, for, for bringing me to this world. Because you will understand that these prayers are working wonder throughout your generations. I want your speed to be faster than we your fathers. You must not make the mistakes we have made. You must not suffer. You must not suffer what your parents have suffered. So hold those things in your hand. You want to do something prophetic. Everybody, you must do it. Your prayer request. Remember, our book for the month is I shall not remain the same again. Rush to the bookshop and pack as many copies as possible. Those watching online, you can buy it online. I shall not remain the same again. Finish the prayers here. See what will happen. Every youth, every youth who wants to make a landmark, you want this new, new, new Nigeria to favor you. Go and digest this book. See what will happen. I see many singles getting married after digesting this book. I see many breakthroughs in businesses. Go and do this. Go and do this. That someone God is healing here and is returning your potency in the name of Jesus. Are you with your prayer requests and everything? Now you begin to dance. By this, anointing. Say by this anointing. Say by this anointing. Follow the instruction. Follow the instruction. By this anointing. By this anointing. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Throughout this month yes. and beyond. Yes. Then you begin. I will testify. I will testify. I will testify. I will testify. No power can stop me. I will testify. Yeah, no power can Follow. Say by this anointing, this very month of fresh anointing in the name of Jesus. I will sing a new song. I will sing a new song. I will sing a new song. Go. I will sing a new song. I will sing a new song. No can stop me. I will sing a new song. No can stop me. Now everybody lift it up. Say this very month of fresh anointing in the name of Jesus. Then you raise up your voice and dance more than anybody. My help is coming. My help is coming. No power can stop it. No power can stop it. My help is coming. My help is coming. My help is coming. No power can stop it. My help is coming. No power can stop it. My help is coming. Now raise up your voice and say, This very month, the month of fresh anointing. In the name of Jesus. Everyone, I want you to leave your seat and turn this place loose now. I will let us sunshine. I will let us sunshine. I will let us sunshine. No. I will let us sunshine. No power can stop me. No power can stop me. No power can stop me. I will let us sunshine. This is the 51 and the last one. This is the 50 month. Get ready. Now lift it up. If you don't have anything, God bless you. If it's your cap, lift it up. 
if it's your hand, lift it up. Yes, Lord. Now this one, you will dance and shout. Say this very month. Beginning from now. To the end of this year. And beyond. For me, my family members, my home, my work. In the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. My glory motion. 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 I will testify. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. I will testify. I will testify. I will testify. No power can stop me. I will testify. Lift it up. I make a decree in the name of Jesus as we enter the month of fresh anointing and by the oil of God upon us. Wherever we may be and our family member this morning, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, throughout this month and beyond, we shall testify. Amen. Let the Lord bless our water, Amen. bless our oil, Amen. our mantle, Amen. our prayer request. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. the love of God, Amen. and the sweet fellowship with the Holy Spirit Amen. be with us Amen. and our family members. Amen. Be with our nation. Hey, Be with this ministry. Hey, to the glory of God. Hey, Jesus' name, I prophesied. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, Lift it up above your head. Then you shout. Fresh anointing. Fresh anointing. Shout it louder than that. Fresh anointing. Shout it again. Fresh anointing. Shout it again. Fresh anointing. Shout it again. Fresh anointing. Two more times. Fresh one more time. Fresh and not in the name of Jesus. When you get home, beloved, open the oil, anoint your pillows, your bed, whether water bed, whether mala bed, whether Holy Ghost mat, anoint the four corners of your house. When you get to your office, do the same thing. Come and see what God will do. Jesus is Lord. Shout one loud hallelujah. Thank you. You are lifted. You have just listened to this message from the senior pastor of Christ Living Strength Apostolic Ministry, Clown, Pastor Wale Oladiyo. To order a copy of our video and audio messages, please call 01-794-9712-0807-658-1733 or visit Clam Bookshop at Plot 1 to 6 Clam Avenue, Omole Ikeja. You can also visit our website at www.clamgo.org or join Pastor Wale Oladinu for the live streaming of our services on www.clamgo.tv. For counseling and prayers, please call 0802 121 4355, 0803 826 6330. And 0805-564-2735. Join us for our Wednesday Revival Hour from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. every Wednesday and Sunday Glorious Service from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. As you come, you'll be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen in Jesus' name. Settled.